Welcome back to the channel everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. Thank you for hitting that play button today. Today we're headed to, I've got two runs this morning. It's uh, 8.49 in the morning. So usually on Monday mornings, most of the drivers get out really early who have a run. Meaning they have their dedicated run to go to. Those guys usually go on by 8 o'clock. I usually will come in, or whoever the newbie is, will come in around 9 and pick up some of the freight that they couldn't put on their trucks or freight that drivers didn't want to deliver let's just put it that way <laughs> um, because sometimes it can't all fit but a lot of times there's just certain places that certain drivers don't like to deliver to and so that gets put on the uh that put, gets put on the rookie i've got one big pallet that looks like some type of copper and then i'm going to another place that does all of our we call it non-stop like people who buy things from Lowe's and Home Depot and Amazon things that we don't deliver to their house so we have a company that does that for us so I'm gonna be stopping by they deliver the TVs the uh, you know I've seen pool tables uh, workout equipment I mean you name it pretty much because Essence will ship anything they have a pretty you know pretty extensive range of things that they will ship for for their customers so I'm gonna do those two stops and then I've got to head back to the terminal and I'm sorry if that Sun's probably too bright I don't know if it is or not but then I gotta hit back to the terminal and do my second run now usually the second run is more of you know just standard freight that's got to be out there sometime today there's no rush on it it's just you get there it may be five six stops and then from there I start doing pickups so on Mondays for me, it's usually a, a nine o'clock start unless somebody's on vacation, someone called in sick, something like that, and I'll come in earlier. But then, you know, I usually don't get out until eight o'clock at night anyway, so, because I'm doing the bulk runs in the evening. So that's what's on the agenda so far this morning. I'm gonna take you along with me, and I'll see you when we get to the first one. All right, we're about here, turning here on 174th Street. Should be right here. I've never been to this location. So I don't even know what this place does. I just know they're getting a, a big old pile of this. It looks like copper stuff. Oh, AEP. Okay. It's a power place. Yeah, I don't... I wouldn't even want to know what this pallet I'm carrying costs. <laughs> this, this, this is a lot of copper on it. Should be over here in this corner. Oh, and Transformers over there. Gotta follow these signs to receiving. Okay, getting all kinds of stuff this morning. That guy actually worked for AP, so Transformer Heaven here. Fiber optic stuff or power stuff everywhere. anyway yep so we're gonna hit one of these docks right here well I guess we're gonna hit that dock <laughs> kind of made it simple for you that block one off here and deliver this stuff and I was hoping it was gonna come out here and do it I can kind of show you but I can't really take you inside with me here all right got that pallet of they were copper rods I don't know they had something to do with got 
I always ask people when I go into these places, you know, hey, what's that do? What's that for? Just, just, heck, I like to learn stuff. He said those go on the, uh, the power lines. They connect these, uh, they use them to connect these transformers together. And it pushes that power through there. Uh, they were big, thick copper coils. I mean, like 4,000 pounds worth. Just, you know, I, th I find things like that fascinating. Now, you couldn't pay me a million dollars a year to work on that junk. Uh-uh. Number one, I'm not getting up in the air. And number two, I'm not messing with anything, anything that can just... <laughs> you touch it and your arms are gone. But I'm very thankful for people who do do it for a living. All right, we're off to uh, another that that place that does all of our. Uh, well, they don't do all of our residential deliveries. They do some of them. We have actually two different companies that we outsource that stuff to. Or actually three. But I'm headed over there, and we will see you. No, they don't. Well, this trailer was probably in Denver two days ago. And nobody does it, right? No. <laughs> oh, this is just funny. That's funny. Sometimes they'll tear one and not mean to tear it. And Carl is this one. stuff's off there so I'm all empty so I'm headed back to the terminal which is like a mile and a half from here and picking up another trailer and then we will head out to make some more some more stops I don't know if it's gonna be a pup trailer like this or if it's gonna be a 53 footer or but we shall find out really really soon all right we are leaving the terminal the 53 footer We've got three stops on it, but the, the three stops take up almost the whole trailer. There's maybe 10 feet left back there. Um, so I'm going to go get those done, and then by then it's going to be, it's 1025 now. It'll be about time to start doing some pickups. All right, we're rolling up on this first one here. Midwest. I think I've been here one other time. Yes, this is it. Rachia. They don't like to leave that gate open very much, do they? <laughs> Guess they figure you'll get it straight before you get to here. We got to hit that dock right there. Do a big old sweeping circle up in here. The best way to attack these, because when I turn, it's going to take a long time for that trailer to get pointing that way. So what I want to do is more come at this angle here because there's no other trucks over here. And then pull back over here. See, now I got my trailer. I'm far enough away from that dock where I can 
where I can slowly put it in there the way I want. You just don't want to turn it too soon. That trash can right there next to it, that ain't, that doesn't help any. This is definitely one of those ones where you'll have to get it in there and then pull up. See, that's way too, they got that trash can over there. I mean, that's just kind of, no reason to put it over there. Cause then it's on your blind side, you can't see it. So you always want to err in caution when it comes to stuff like that is I would rather be, you know, too far this just this side of it versus hit it. Because I can't see it over there. So this is going to take a couple of pull-ups. I can tell right now. It's because of that trash can. Really what I should have done is backed it even further over here. So now I can see it from this side. And I can get, get up on it a little better. Even though I've still got some swing.
we got those eight pallets off. Got them off the truck. Next, we're headed to some cleaning supply place. And they've got, I believe it's like seven skids. It's just up the street too. Most of these are configured right in here. Probably not even not even three, four, or five miles from one another. Mr. Culligan, Culligan man. This little area right here gets all jammed up, especially at lunchtime. There needs to be a light right here. Even though there's a light right there, there's so much businesses down the street right here that this right here is just becomes a nightmare. People don't use their turning signal. So like that person did. Come on, little car. This whole thing is waiting on you. Yeah, I think they're gonna have to come out and get it off my truck. So if I remember right, this is a little video place. Yeah, professional cleaning supply. Cause they had that little dock, but I remember last time I was here, they were like, nah, we just come out and get them, get them mixes curb so I'm out of people's way but I don't want to be blocking anybody's entrances I ought to do it about to pull up to the next one this is a uh, roofing supply company and uh, you got to go in off the left and it's I don't know how jammed up it's gonna be but it's usually it's pretty tight and this place sometimes I'm missing I'm missing side mirrors by centimeters <laughs> they just they didn't think this particular place out at all
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right here. All these supplies. And you're trying not to take out fences and usually they'll leave you a little spot right here. But this old boy's just got all this all jacked up. I can't keep going that way. Gotta back it up a little bit. I'm gonna hit that pallet. It's on my left. I got plenty of room, I think, to get through here. Just want to make sure I'm not going to hit anything over there. See that one? That pal, see how close I am to this truck? <laughs> I barely miss that power back there. <laughs> Woohoo! We made it! We made it, ladies and gentlemen! We didn't we didn't take out anybody's fence line to take any mirrors off. <laughs> Alright, let's go get these guys unloaded here. Got the last six pallets off this, off this truck. Get that blood moving. All right, so now we're headed to uh, start our pickups. Headed to a facility to pick up 15. Now 15 of what, I don't know, but 15 pallets, 15, 15 something. But that's gonna do it for this vlog. I wanna thank you so much for stopping by the channel. If you wanna watch the pickups, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. That way you'll know when the next video comes out. But until I see you at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day. And remember, life is truly short. Make sure you make it sweet. Peace.